Hi, I'm Mr. Bailey, and this is the second video of our Autodesk Inventor tutorial series. And for this video, we're going to be cutting a simple nail like that, which you would use to connect two pieces of wood or build a house. And so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to come up and click on New in the top left, make sure we're on metric, and then we're going to double click on our standard millimeter part. Once we do that, we're going to start our 2D sketch, get right into it, and we'll start our sketch on the XY plane. And now what I'm going to do is move my origin a little bit to the top left. You can do that by clicking on the scroll wheel and moving around. And now I'm going to go come up to the left and click on the line tool. And I'll start by snapping my first point to the origin and bringing it out and for this tutorial we're going to be focusing on giving dimensions so you'll notice that there are two possible dimensions I can give and the first is the length which right now is 3.635 but I'm going to change that to 4 and hit tab and our last dimension is our angle so if I type in 0 and hit tab you'll notice I can't move my line anymore so I'll hit enter and now we're going to start by bringing it down and we're first gonna make the head of the nail and this is gonna be at a 90 degree angle and the line will be 1.5 millimeters long and now I don't quite remember this dimension but that's okay so I'm just gonna click at a random point as long as it's 90 degrees and now I'm gonna make the shaft of the nail and I don't quite remember how long this one is either so I'm just gonna make sure it's a 90 degree angle and I'll t enter, hit enter at some random point. And last, we need to make the point of the nail. So I'm just going to angle my line and make sure I snap it to this uh, Y axis right below the origin. And I'll just click at some random point. And lastly, we will add our line to make it a closed sketch and make sure it snaps back to the origin. And now we can hit escape or enter. I'm going to hit escape and that will exit us from the line command and now you'll notice we have some purple lines and we have some green lines these purple lines have already been given dimensions and the green lines are undefined they have not been defined yet so if we come up to the top ribbon and click on dimension we can start adding dimensions to our sketch now the first dimension I'll add is from the very point of the nail down here to the origin and I measured my overall length of the nail at 75 millimeters so I'm gonna go ahead and hit, uh, type in 75 and hit enter and you'll notice that the sketch adjusts for us now the other dimension we need is the radius of this nail and so we'll click on dimension again and click on this point as well as this inside line and our radius will be 1.5 millimeters hit enter and you'll notice that that green line turned to purple because it is now fully defined and if we zoom out you'll notice we have one last green line which needs a bit of dimensioning I was able to measure the length of the point rather than the angle of the point so if I click on the line and drag my dimension to the right it will give me the overall length and I measured that to be 5 so I'll click and type in 5 and you'll notice it'll change for us and now all of our lines are fully defined all of our lines are purple so lastly all we need to do is revolve our sketch so if we come up to the left on 3d model and click on revolve it'll ask us which axis we want to revolve so you'll notice that it has the red arrow we will click on our axis on the y-axis and you'll notice that the nail the preview of the nail will show up for you and it looks pretty good now if you look at the extents on our revolve tool we can we have a couple more options such as the angle and if you see 90 degrees it'll give you that 90 degree preview if we really wanted to we could type in 360 and it'll give us that full nail like we want but for this it's best easy it's the easiest to use full there's other uh, extents which are two and between and we'll talk about those in later videos so let's go ahead and click full and hit ok because we want our feature 
Now if we look on the left browser, you'll notice that our sketch is engulfed in our feature. Now I'm not sure if it's a little bit of dirt or a chamfer on the nail itself, but the nail that I pulled out of my garage has a small chamfer on the underside edge of the head. So if I come up to the top ribbon and click on the chamfer tool, I'll zoom in a little bit and click on the inside edge and it'll give us a preview of a two millimeter chamfer. A chamfer is an angled edge or an angled surface along an edge that we decide. And that two millimeters looks way too big. So I'm gonna type in 0.5 and it'll adjust our preview. And that looks pretty good, but I think I'm gonna try 0.75 and see how that looks. And that looks about right. So I'm gonna hit the check mark to hit okay. And you'll notice our chamfer appears also on the model and also on the browser and we have our finished nail good to go uh, it's a very simple project but we're just learning dimensions and the revolve tool if you have any questions or would like your model 3d printed come on into the Temecula Tech Academy and we'll gladly help you out thank you